this is one of those moments where I, my future is open. Uh, and what I've decided to do and where I've decided to go with my life is to start an animal act. I've decided to work with my dog, Lars. He's a great dog. Uh, and I worked with him for a year and a half and the results were amazing. I mean, this dog can do anything. Addition, it can do subtraction, it can play the violin. can walk on his hands. Amazing. Uh, there were some discipline problems there. I had trouble with him. His tail was a little bit too long. Uh, the, he never was house trained. Uh, so I decided to bring in more. So I brought in uh, Fluffy. The, the cutest little kitten you ever saw. And I thought they were going to get along great. And I thought that, you know, dog and cat and the marketing and the branding, it was a terrific idea. And then there was a problem. <laughs> Lars ate Fluffy. I, I just, I, it, was, it shocked me. And uh, I decided to, to move on. You know, I started training another dog. His name was, well, coincidentally, Lars. Uh, and uh, I trained him with a ball. And uh, that's basically all I ever did. I couldn't find a market for that. I had the dog, I had the ball. So I decided to change my focus. And uh, I studied for a year, 14 months. Uh, and I became a chair artist, uh, a chair matist. I, I frankly was, and probably still am, the best in the world. Uh, audience less than enthusiastic is the only way I could put it. So I brought, I implored Stevie to come and work with me. She's a, a star and she's always been a star and she has her own following. And uh, I did my chair routine and that was great. And Stevie did her chair routine and that was great. just I think they felt it was like been there done that so we we brought in a motorcycle I thought that was smart uh, uh, motorcycle men and but uh, I don't know I don't think it really happened for us so Stevie uh, I started carrying her around in the chair <laughs> Frankly, 
she got a little tired of that and she got angry at me I mean spending her life in a chair that I'm carrying around in my mouth I, I can understand the discontent she split uh, she was out of there I just one of those things uncontrollable things I mean she was great though <laughs> Uh, she could work with a ball, she could work with an umbrella. Uh, she tumbled. Nah, it didn't, it, it, it didn't work, so I had to to move on to something else. I had to redefine myself yet again. So I got an elephant. I got Dumbo. I mean, it's, it's always been a dream of mine to, to have an elephant. And I, up on eBay, got one. Cheap. I mean, shipping was a bummer. Uh, but, uh, I had Dumbo. I trained Dumbo for about a year. Uh, I, much to my surprise, I found that there wasn't much of a market for an elephant act anymore. I, I, I mean, the people today, the kids, they're jaded. I mean, they're looking at their phones and. I got a fucking elephant, but so I brought in a horse. I brought in a horse. I bought a horse. Uh, for s simplicity's sake, I named him Lars. Uh, worked with a horse. Got the horse together. Brought in a new dog. Uh, the old dog Lars was was not happy with working with an elephant and uh, a horse. And so I guess someone had told the dog, don't work with elephants and horses. So I brought in, again, for simplicity's sake, Lars, the new dog, and uh, they were good. We did some jump roping. We did a bunch of things. feel connected with the audience. I, uh, then Lars, the dog, ran away. Uh, Dumbo, not again, uh, I should have pre-thought this, grew. The fucking thing was a gigantic thing. Uh, the dumps alone spent a half a day. So, again, crossroads, redefinition, uh, dog barking. I decided to become a bicycle act. That was good. Not great. I mean, I, I did well with it, but not really well. There's apparently, you know, a, traveling with a 10 foot high bike uh, just so so I finally took one last stab and this this appears to be my legacy <laughs>